We have over 80 organizations yes. and groups out here today who are going to be marching down Watson Boulevard. So fun, right? Yeah, it's going to so be a, a great time. And what better way to really kick off the Christmas spirit in the international city in such a big way with more than 80 organizations who are going to be participating. I'm sure you all hear a little bit of helicopter noise right here. <laughs> GSP is even getting in on the fun this right, year. Yes, thanks to our friends in public safety mm -hmm. who want to make sure that everybody that's in a tent yes. is yes. as safe as possible. We really do owe them a big thank Yes, you. and we cannot thank our first responders enough. Mm -hmm. There are dozens of officers out here with the Warner Robins Police Department. Georgia State Patrol is also out here as mm -hmm. well, making sure that everybody can have a fun right. and safe time. So thank you yes. all so much. Yes, and just making sure that the route is safe, that all of these parade goers are having a good time. They've been out here since very early this morning, setting up the roadblocks and getting everything ready. So we are grateful for them. We know this is going to be a great event. We know we're going to have a lot of fun. All the people out here, they are ready. They got their Christmas shirts on, their Christmas hats. They're ready to go. Yep, they're ready to go. They have on their shirts. I see some Critter Fixers folks out there. Yep. I see some folks, they have their cameras ready. There are some folks who are just ready to have a good time. They have on their PJs. They're drinking their hot cocoa, some coffee. It's just such a great way to celebrate the holiday spirit. So much fun, right? Definitely. And for those of you who are streaming and watching us at home, we are grateful that you decided to tune in. Hopefully we kind of get you in that Christmas spirit this morning and you have a little hot cocoa or coffee with you this morning as you're watching us. and. Getting ready to get things going. Yeah. And the thing that I love about this parade is, of course, you know, we have all of the big parades that happen, you know, Macy's Thanksgiving Day and stuff like that. But when you're able to see a parade happening in your own backyard, it's just something that makes it even more special. Yeah, and a parade of this magnitude, too. I mean, the amount of groups and organizations that came out here early on a Saturday morning. I mean, they were, Mandy, you, you passed them at, what, 8 o'clock this eight morning, and they were already wow. getting ready they to were line up. They lining up, ready to go. Wow. So. so a big thank you to also all the parents out there, because I know we have a <laughs> lot of young ones who are going to be participating in this parade. I know Caitlin and I, we had a pretty early alarm for us for a, a given Saturday, but I could only imagine waking your kids up in the morning, getting them fed, and trying to get them out here on time. That would be a lot. Yes, but you know what? I know that they are all so excited about it that those kids probably woke up. It's probably easier to wake those kids up on a Saturday for this than it is to, for the school day. <laughs> exactly. It's it's fired up and you know this just means so much to the community it means so much to the kids also but them being able to participate in this christmas parade mm -hmm. and truly giving back to their hometown right and i think it's so much fun to be able to see kids that are involved in our local activities being able to showcase what they do and yes. what they're passionate about yep we're ready to go. Yeah, we're ready to we're go. Getting the signal. Ready they're getting ready to, to start they're, marching. They're, they're awesome. getting ready to start. I, I didn't know that, you know, we had the power to go ahead and kick, kick, kick this thing off. <laughs> that was just a it. police officer who's speaking with us, and they're getting ready to start kicking things off right now. We could see them. They're queued up, and they're ready to go. So this is going to be fun. I'm excited. I was, Y'all, we have, we have bands. We have marchers. We have floats. We have kids. I mean, we got a little bit of everything that we have coming up for you guys. So I hope all of you at home are ready to have a good time. Very much so. I feel like I'm excited to see the Corvettes, and I'm oh, also yes. excited about the band. Yes. I love the band. I, I do love a good marching band. And mm -hmm. when I was coming in, I saw tons of Jeeps lined up. So wow. Oh, yes. So I'm really excited to see these floats and how they're decorated and organizations being able to showcase. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, that, that's absolutely, it's absolutely huge. And, you know, just talking about all of our law enforcement who's out here, I mean, they're on bikes, they are on motorcycles, <laughs> they have drones, they have their large police vehicle here. So once again, thank you all so much for all that you're doing because this is a, a huge undertaking to have something like this. And really just to the city too. I mean, even just getting all of these people together and all of this organized. I mean, just from our end, we're, we're happy to partner with the city to be able to do this, but yes. I know it was a lot of work on the front end getting this all organized and ready yes, to go. So it was, yes. And yes. a shout out to all the staff who was involved, um, all the volunteers who have mm -hmm. um, yes. come out and showcased their willingness to help. It was, it was done in a short amount of time, and we are grateful for them. Wow, oh, we know that you. it's going to be a good one. We are already seeing people starting to come down the street. You hear them starting. If you can see them on your screen there. We have first up the Warner Robins Christmas Parade banner this year. It is being carried by Houston County High School Air Force Junior ROTC Cadets. We have Cadet Staff Sergeant Diego Sears and Cadet Airman Sidney McRae leading the charge there. We are really kicking things off now. Look at them go. Got a long way to go to start this parade, but they are doing a great job getting us started, getting us off on the right foot, that's for sure. Yes, and they are going strong. I absolutely love that banner, bringing back Christmas. 
And I just want to give you all a few seconds to listen to them right now. All righty then. So we have the Houston County High School Air Force JROTC you're seeing here. Houston County High School Air Force JROTC, Georgia 932, home of the Black Knights, where lead instructors are Major LaVondra Scaver and Master Sergeant Philip Turner. This year's parade is being led by Cadet Colonel Mary Wilcox. The unit's mission is to develop citizens of character dedicated to serving their nation and community by instilling values of citizenship, service to the United States, and development of personal responsibility. Uh, we are so grateful for them. We got some, some future Air Force leaders possibly in that group over there. Up next are Grand Marshals, Dr. Hodges and Dr. Ferguson with Critter Fixer Hospitals. These hometown champions have been serving our local community for over 20 years. They may be our local vets, but have a global audience. Catch their hit series, Critter Fixers Country Vets on Nat Geo Wild and Disney Plus. Uh, we are so excited to have them here. All right, we were talking about the Jeeps. Here Woo! they are, the Wheels of Steel Jeep Club of Warner Robins. They are a nonprofit group. They want to do community service and charitable work. Their club consists of members who share the same passion for riding, brotherhood, sisterhood. They have a high degree of respect for the Jeepers community. The Jeep Club founder is Teresa Freeman and co-founder Shravana Thomas. Look at some of the decorations Woo! on these things. Guys. I love the two snowmen out there on the oh, front. Yes. Oh, man, these are great. A Jeep reindeer. I mean, you absolutely love to see it. And then check out this this panda Jeep. I, I've never seen anything like it uh -uh, before. <laughs> but I'm loving it, though. And, you know, these groups really do so much for the community. They do. And it's just so great to see them out here having a good time and being celebrated, too. Yeah, they really do pour into the community, back to school giveaways mm -hmm. and various different things that they do. I mean, that's just hardly scratching the surface when it comes down to what these Jeep and different various car clubs do here in our community. And they got the music pumping, too. They're I, having a good time. I see. They're going to make me want to get up and walk it out real quick. <laughs> We love it. And following the Wheels of Steel Jeep Club is the Wings of Steel Motorcycle Club. They are a sisterhood of professional women who love to ride and a nonprofit organization focused on community service and charitable work. You know, I love to always support our women here throughout Central Georgia. And it's great to see these queens riding on their motorcycles. I love it. Oh, I love it. Look at them go. They're having a good time. <laughs> I tell you, they look, they make it look easy, but they <laughs> would do. not be that graceful on a motorcycle. Up next is our Georgia, Georgia Golden Olympics. They promote healthy, active lifestyles. In 2023, they will celebrate 41 years of competitions in Warner Robins for 500 to 700 competitors. Their mission is to provide opportunities to participate in social, competitive, recreational, and athletic events for ages 50 plus of all levels and abilities. Held once a year in September, the Jordan, Georgia Golden Olympics consists of 20 plus sports and 60 plus events, as well as the opportunity to volunteer. The 2023 Golden Olympics will be held September 19th through 23rd. All right, we just got the Cub Scouts come by, Pack 122. They read regularly throughout the school year at Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Warner Robins. Kindergarten to fifth grade kiddos out there. All righty then, and then coming up right here, what you're gonna be seeing on your screen, if we can uh, try and get him, this is going to be uh, Councilman Darren Mack that we have. Uh, Derek Mack, rather, who is riding right here, who is uh, coming on by. And then right behind him, you're seeing the National STEM Academy that's rolling by right there. Museum Check out that aviation. cool little. Look at that guy. We love <laughs> I to know. see it. We love to see that right there. Uh, those of you who have not been to the Museum of Aviation, they have all kinds of great programs for kids. 85 aircraft and exhibits. It is definitely a place to go and take the kiddos for sure. And up next, that is Councilman Kevin Lashley and his youngest daughter. All right, up next we got Councilman Larry Curtis there. He got a full load on the back of that truck. Everybody having a good time. Post six, uh, class of 94 graduate from Warner Robins. He's oh, married wow. to his high school sweetheart, Laura. They are parents to five kids, Dominique, Samantha, Jaheem, Karen, and Jazzy, all dedicated servants to the community. We love it. Wow, that's absolutely amazing. And then we have to take oh. a look at this float. Look at these little babies right here. They are absolutely so cute right here. So this is the Lollipops, I believe, kid company that we're seeing here. The gingerbread-themed float is carrying the sweet and adorable Lollipop Kids. They are representing Lollipop Kids Company, which carries adorable and affordable children's boutique clothing and more. They are located inside the Houston County Gallery Mall. So stop by and shop with them this holiday season. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year coming from them. Oh, they're so and cute. And up next is the Middle Georgia Honor Flight. 
Middle Georgia Honor Flight is a nonprofit organization that provides veterans of all services no cost trips to Washington, D.C. to see the various monuments that have been erected in their honor. They are currently searching for World War II, Korean conflict, and Vietnam veterans to honors Christmas. to participate. Veterans and their families can okay. contact Middle Georgia Honor Flight for information. Uh, I'll tell y'all, they do a great job for those veterans. If you have not been on one of those honor flights, it is an experience. All right, up next, we have Miss Warner Robins High School, Miss Mary Rowland joining us this morning, a senior honor student as a captain of the varsity game day cheerleading squad, a great example of academic, artistic, and athletic uh, excellence. We are excited to have her with us today. Wow, it's absolutely amazing, and we're continuing to see folks who are rolling on by and everybody's waving, having a, a great time this evening. I know. We're loving to see it. We got some this beautiful morning. queens out here <laughs> waving. They got their tiaras. They are having themselves a great time this morning. Man, we have already gotten so much going in this parade. It's I, crazy. I know. I'm surprised to see how much we've progressed in just such a short amount of time already. All right, we are going to be moving right along right here. You got the Warner Robins High School Air Force JROTC. We got a big old group with this yep. one. All right, we are representing the uh, JROTC. We have the King Donovan Williamson, the Queen, Rashana Hurley, and two princesses. They were just the ones in that uh, in that truck, I believe. Uh -huh. And then we got the ROTC group number 065, the, one of the original units founded when the Air Force started the AFR, AFJROTC program back in 1966. One wow. of the original That's amazing. Groups. I did not know that. All in the international city. Uh, 175 cadets in this group. That is a really, really big group. They are very active in the community. 2,000 community service hours over the past 10 years. So we wow. definitely love to see that they are honing their skills, but also giving back to the community as well. They do drill, color guard, flicker ball, rocketry. And the cadets who complete three years of the JROTC program can enlist in the military two ranks higher than a basic entry. So they work hard. I know that they are always doing those drill work. They are always after yes. school practicing their craft and giving back to the community as well. So we yeah. love to see that. And that's for great those work kids. that they're doing. I remember when I was back in high school, I was in the JROTC and we'd have our uniform. I was because I thought it would be an easy way to get out of that physical education <laughs> credit. <laughs> but it actually ended up being really tough. Both of my parents served in the military, but it definitely taught me a lot. And, you know, I used to take pride into making sure that my uniform was straight. I, I believe that 100%, Wanye. Yeah, but it, but it was tough. Yeah. <laughs> Wanye had the best dress uniform out there, that's for sure. I have no doubts about that. All right. Next up is the Warner Robins High School Demon Marching Band. Under the direction of Dr. Todd Howell, the band has won numerous awards for superior performances from drum major Root DeSeld Romero, the color guard, Percussion and overall band, including first runner-up, grand champion at the Fort Mountain Marching Contest in Chatsworth, Georgia. The band is proud to support the Demon football team at home and away games. It's been a great season, and they couldn't be more proud of the team. Today, they are performing a Christmas parade sequence that includes Good King, Joy to the World, and Hark, and the Herald Angels Sing. Listen in, Central Georgia. Big shout out to this marching band. You know, they were busy last night. They had a big football game, and they, they are back out here this morning. Bright and early. <laughs> we love to see it. City Councilman Charlie Bibb, post two. He absolutely loves serving the community, riding with him. He has his wife of 30 years, Connie, daughter Chaley, and grandkids Kinley, Nolan, Caden, and Katie Joe. When he's not serving one Robbins, he is working at Robbins and is the pastor of Liberty Baptist Church. And if that wasn't enough to keep him busy, he also helps coach his grandson's travel baseball team, which you know is a big de deal. Definitely. So we're going to go ahead and keep it moving right here. I don't know if you could see the little busy bee right there. It's <laughs> Bee's Dance Apparel, a specialty retail store where dance studios, churches, public schools, and gymnasts in the local and surrounding communities can purchase their needed supplies for children, men, and women. Miss Bee is accompanied by her business partner, Sophie, who enjoys greeting customers and gr getting those amazing belly rubs. Oh, 
And oh, you guys got to take a look at this next one coming in. <laughs> Up next, Caitlin and Wanye is the Warner Robins High School Theater with characters from the holiday classic and musical of the beloved television special, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Featuring all of your favorite characters, including Santa and Mrs. Claus, Hermie the Elf, Yukon Cornelius, and of course, Rudolph. The award-winning Warner Robins High School Theater Department has performances today at 1.30 and 4. Tickets can be purchased at Warner Robins High School's tickets.com. All right, up next we got Curb Appeal Scenes and Scapes. They're owned and operated by Jason and Jenny Kerr, both born and raised right here in Warner Robins. And they even got, were in the parade as kids, so now they are coming back and doing it full circle. We love to see it. They got a couple couple of Grinches on board there, but they specialize in outdoor patios and kitchens, landscape design and installation, low voltage lighting, you name it, they can do it. All right, and check this out. You have Splinter's Axe House, even the Grinch, Enjoys a good axe. I don't know how I feel about the Grinch having like, an axe. You need to put an axe in the hands of the Grinch. <laughs> Here he comes now. Chop ping down the Christmas tree with Cindy Lou, who Max came to in Splinter's Axe House and Tavern now offers food, cocktails, and axe throwing all for your party needs. And there's also the Splinter's portable axe unit as well. And then up next, we have Rolling Thunder Georgia 3. Rolling Thunder is a part of the national nonprofit Rolling Thunder, dedicated to POW MIA issue and supports veterans. There are over 80 chapters across the states and we're the only one in Georgia. And they even got some some slingshots in there I too. I know, look at them go. I love it. Oh, yeah, 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 that, 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 that's it. it rests, that, that's it. it. <laughs> I don't know who's louder, them or that helicopter that's, that's flying that's... over earlier. <laughs> All right, let's see who we got coming up next. The Moms Club of Warner Robins. We are so excited to have them here. They are primary caregivers in the area. They go do engagement and activities for parents and child and support the community through all kinds of service projects. They have a community pantry. And this year, their float is inspired. I love this. The chaos of Christmas morning. Messy, beautiful, hectic. But wonderful, something I guess I'm going to be experiencing in the next couple of years when I bring these two kiddos on board. Oh, definitely. And I know that you cannot wait. All right, Central Georgia, I want you to take a look at your screen because when I was reading the script and I saw this, the Purdue primary popping pandas. Now, they are a group of second grade girls with lots of spirit who love to dance and make others smile. They enjoy performing for our community and school events. They are the Poppin' Pandas dance team. Look Woo! at them go with there those pom-poms. Go. go. And here comes Mayor Patrick. <laughs> All right. Mayor Patrick is actively making history every day as the first African-American female and minority mayor in Warner Robins. She comes from a lengthy line of veterans as a granddaughter of two Vietnam veterans, a daughter of an Air Force veteran who retired as a master sergeant from Robbins Air Force Base after 22 years of service and numerous other family members. She is excited to watch her son Lane experience the Warner Robins Christmas Parade as she did as a child. I'm loving all these full circle moments that we're hearing in some of these descriptions. Of course, she is being driven by the International City Corvette Club. Look at all of these lovely wow. cars here. This was established back in 2019. That includes active duty and retired military members, community leaders, businessmen and women from the middle Georgia area who drive America's iconic sports car. More than 1.75 million Corvettes have been produced in eight model series since production began in 1953. Man, there is a lot of Corvettes out here. I love it. Wow. And you can How see all pretty. the different models, too. Yes, it's, it's beautiful. You have Corvettes from newer model Corvettes to some that are older, but you wouldn't be able to tell because mm -hmm. they're so well kept. Timeless. Very much so, Thomas. And look at my brother over here. He he pumping. <laughs> He's pumping over there. I like that. They got that music going. They're having themselves a good old time. Listen, I don't blame them. We're in the holiday spirit here, and that's how we do it here in the international city. So coming up right here on your screen, you're still seeing those Corvettes, but right behind them, we have the Joy Robertson Agency, which is all state insurance. The Joy Robertson Agency is sporting their super team and showcasing their all-state blue BMW i8 supercar with over 300 Google Google reviews and 25 years in the business. They are a super agency ready to protect you from life's mayhem moments. Make sure to call them for an insurance quote and check out that car tag as well. Merry Christmas. So I think that might be like one of those electric cars, one of those electric BMWs, yeah. Caitlin. 
That is that is some fancy stuff right there. It's I love the nice. two little ones riding in the wagon. They have the right idea. Exactly. Because that's if I how was you in do this a parade. parade. <laughs> you'd be pulling me too. That, that's about all I would be able to do. <laughs> that's about it. That's about it there. But man, we love seeing this group coming down the road. And up next, we have our Warner Robin. Our, I'm sorry, our Northside High School cheerleaders, driven by our Warner Robins Fire Department. These lovely ladies can usually be found performing on the sidelines under those Friday night lights as they rally the crowd to cheer on those mighty Northside Eagles. They are happy to be here in the parade with us today because they enjoy any opportunity that allows them an opportunity to showcase their enthusiasm for local schools. Let's go blue. All right. We've got an enthusiastic group up there. They're bringing the spirit. Guys, look at this. It is snowing in wow. Warner Robins this oh morning. Oh, my goodness. Would you believe it? Alcantara Construction. Woo, call Ben LC. Jones. Oh, the gingerbread house, the snow. They specialize in remodeling, painting, flooring, and bringing a whole lot of Christmas magic, apparently. They transform ugly houses to dream houses. They have served in the middle Georgia area since 2008, and they love happy customers, so you can give them a call for an estimate. Man, if they can turn the trailer into that, I can only imagine what they could do to your house, that's for sure. That's what I'm saying. It's amazing. It looks like we might have a white Christmas here in the city of Warner Robins. <laughs> this is the kind of white Christmas that we like, not the real stuff. We don't want the real stuff. Exactly right. Now we're coming up on the Academy of Dance located on Pleasant Hill Road here in Warner Robins. The Academy of Dance has been entertaining middle Georgia audiences for, get this, over 52 years and have been participating in the Christmas parade here in Warner Robins for over 20. Studio dancers range in the age from two to adults and they encourage you to do the Jingle Bell Rock and give the gift of dance this season. The director, Kim Raleigh, staff and family wish you all the happiest of holidays. And then we've got another dance studio, Peacocks following them. Students from their art class created the color scheme and decorations to bring this the life of this year's theme, Visions of Sugar Plum Dancing. Teaching children 18 months and older to embrace their creative side for nine years, Peacock's Performing Arts Center is proud to be a part of the Warner Robins community. Oh, uh, look at them, go. they got their dance moves all ready and everything choreographed. Up next we have the Tuskegee Airmen Inc. They are uh, Major General Joseph McNeil chapter the nationally recognized chapter of the Tuskegee Airmen here in Central Georgia. They continue the legacy of the fame of Tuskegee Airmen of World War II by providing education assistance to graduating seniors in our area. They welcome you to visit the Museum of Aviation, enjoy the Tuskegee Airmen display, and learn more about Major General Joseph A. McNeil and the local chapter. Up next is Santa's Workshop, where we have several busy elves working on toys for all the boys and girls for Christmas, and they are very spirited. Since 1956, Happy Hour Service Center has been serving adults with developmental disabilities. They focus on training them in life, social, and work skills to better function in the community. I love that. Oh. And look at that cute little mouse. Oh. Nice. Pest Control is a family owned and operated since 1929 and serves all of Central Georgia commercial and residential termite, pest control, wildlife, mosquito, bed bug, and moisture control. They oh. would love for you to join the Knox family this Christmas. Uh, we just had Mike's Tree Service go on by, owned and operated by the family, serving since 1979. So when it comes to removal, they say quality matters and they want to help you get the job done right. When it needs to be done, they say, call Mike's. They got the big old crane here having a good time out there. All righty then. And then right here, you see those girls performing. We have Alpha, City of Warner Robins Parks and Recreation. Now, up next is the Parks and Recreation Cheer Team, coached by two amazing Warner Robins High School students. These two young ladies volunteer their time by giving back to the community to coach this team. The Yellow Jackets, which consists of seven to eight-year-old girls in the area. Alana Bennett is a current cheerleader at Warner Robins High School, along with Madison Fuller, a theater student. They are in the Christmas spirit, and the girls will perform a routine of Jingle Bells Rock. All right, we got Miss Northside coming up here. Michaela Moody, she is looking beautiful today. A senior at Northside who wrestles, plays flag huh. football, and in the Houston County Sharks team. She started a literary club at Northside and loves the spoken word. Wow, what an incredible young woman there. And she says, it's great to be a Northside Eagle. We are very proud to have her here in Central Georgia. That is for sure. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, look at these cuties coming down the road. We got a Northside High School, FCCLA, and Eagle Preschool. They love some community service. Their club is active in so many projects like Jay's Hope, Toys for Tots. The preschool gives high school students with entry level employability skills needed in the child care industry. They offer healthy, happy environment for kids three to four years old. All right, and then up next we have the Genesis Joy House. You can see them driving their van. Genesis Joy House is making history by being the first transitional housing facility in middle Georgia to house our homeless female veterans. Genesis has also helped over 1,800 families just this year through their outreach programs with food, clothing, housing, and advocating for various benefits to aid them to become independent and self-sufficient. And then behind them, you'll see the Social Girls Society Junior Community Sorority. They serve as a local youth social club consisting of a group of girls seeking to establish genu genuine friendships that can last a lifetime. They aim to promote self-esteem and encourage positive peer relations. The rings on their logo re represent sisterhood, unity, and support. Follow them on Facebook and Instagram. Hey. And then behind them, you'll have the, the Kappa Epsilon military sorority. They aspire to honor past female service members, unite pre present female service members, and mentor future leadership of our armed forces. Oh, up next, look at this little cutie coming Aww. down the street. The Humane Society of Houston County. They have toy characters looking for some loving homes for their animals. They're a nonprofit group and they serve people here in Houston County area. Their staff is 100% volunteer. They work so hard to try to save as many homeless animals as possible and find them forever homes so they can get the love that they so much deserve. We are very excited. Yeah, and I love the, the Toy Story theme that they're, mm -hmm. they're going with right now. So check out all these little kiddos right here from Russell Elementary here to spread some Christmas cheer on the Russell Elementary Patriot Cheer team. They are chugging along on the Russell Express. The float is conducted by Russell Elementary School principal, Mr. William Wilson. And then following them, you'll see Tiny Miss Independence. Aww. Eden Collins <laughs> is representing Warner Robins as a Teeny Miss Independence. This first pageant sparked a love for the stage. She will celebrate her fourth birthday on December 12th. <laughs> she attends Stratford Academy and wants to be a scientist when she grows up. She is a black belt in karate and loves swimming, gymnastics, and dance. She is a fierce competitor already. Watch out world for Eden Eleonora Collins. That little tiara wow. was bigger than she is, but she is a mighty young little girl. She's we are proud of her. Oh, all right, next we got another big group coming, Veterans High School Air Force JROTC. They have 200 cadets demonstrating their holiday spirit and commitment to community service in our area. Led by Cadet Corps Commander Brennan McCormick, they present to their elite national fitness competition Raider team, along with 185 men and women in parade service dress. The lead vehicle is carrying the 2022-23 Queen and her court. We have Cadet Shelby Roberts. Cadet Elisa Matias and Cadet Sarah Purvis on the back of the truck there. And look at this group. You can tell that they have been practicing. Look at just the precision walking down in this yes. parade. I mean, that is impressive. As we said before, the amount of work that these cadets put in, even yes. in the high school level, is so impressive. It's it's a lot of a lot of hard work that they put in, and honestly, there's nothing else that I in my opinion, I believe that just instills so much value and integrity in you. Then, you know, being in the JROTC, there's so many life lessons that they teach you very early on that you can take with you into the real world. Absolutely. And I mean, and for them to have Robbins Air Force Base right here, too, oh, man. to kind of look up to it. I know a lot of them get a lot of opportunities to go experience some things at Robbins, which is really great to have that have that, that resource that here. is amazing resource for them all right check oh, out oh, these man. kids i Whoa. mean they're, they're, they're black back flipping and they're doing oh they're doing cartwheels I'm, oh i'm getting worried for this one <laughs> i mean i absolutely love to see it we have west side elementary school and it's the boys to men dance team they are 33rd through fifth grade students from West Side Elementary located here in Warner Robins. The dancers are part of West Side's Boys Mentorship Program. The dancers' motto is walk right, talk right, and do right. Linkers Hampton and Henry Jones sponsors these dancers. Ooh, they are a fun group. Yes. Fun. And then following them, you'll see Olympia Skate Center. Olympia has been a staple in Warner Robins Christmas. for over 44 years providing children and their parents with countless memories for rolling out Merry for Christmas. fun. 
Olympia is joined today by several members of mock racing speed skating team with members ranging in age from four to 55. <coughs> These athletes know how to have a rolling good time. You can follow mock racing on Facebook and, under, and Instagram under mock racing. And Mandy, you have to check this out. Do you see the the rolling <laughs> <laughs> roller Look at that skate? skate? I love it. Oh that my is so gosh! Cool. All right, up behind that we have the Middle Flint Behavioral Health Care. Well, a 50-year history of providing person-centered service. They partner with the state to provide a safety net of services to those most in need, while continuing to diversify the services that they can provide in their 11 county area. For access to services and immediate crisis help, you can call Georgia Crisis and Access Line as well. We are grateful for them being in our community and the work that they do to help people wow. out. Wow, yeah, that's absolutely amazing. And then we're look at this trailer, you all. Woo! This is Triple C's first annual winter brawl. Look out, it's Triple C's uh -huh. first annual winter brawl featuring the top all-star football players from all the House and County Middle Schools. Their showcase has them competing and representing the North versus the South in a battle to be the best side of Houston County. Love it. That's a fun looking group there. Yes, most definitely. <laughs> and now we have RS2 Logistics coming through. Owner and CEO, Mr. Renato Solomon, specializes in all of your residential and commercial repair needs. RS2 Logistics strives to provide A1 services while cr creating job opportunities. Our motto is to uplift others and provide opportunities as we climb to the top. Call and let Solomon do it. Oh, uh, coming up next, Miss North Side Mail. She already has the wave the, down and oh, everything. Look at her go. That oh, is lock. Miss Kennedy Jackson. The Miss Northside Middle pageant is a fundraiser for the nonprofit Friends of Northside Middle Holiday Star Program, which helps student families with food, clothing, and other needs. Kennedy is a gifted student athlete and was crowned in April and very proud to represent her school. Yeah, she has the wave down. She has mm -hmm. the outfit. She is absolutely ready to go. Now, coming up next, we're going to have the Northside Middle School FFA, FCCLA, and Student Council. These organizations have come together to demonstrate how we are growing leaders at Northside Middle School. Their goal is to prepare students for leadership opportunities through academic success, career preparation, and community engagement. And I see some pandas coming our way. The rock and pandas are made up of first and second graders from David Purdue Primary and Warner Robins. The group sings and plays various songs. The trailer today is provided by Perry's Tracks and Trailers. The group is under the direction of Cheryl Jones and assisted by Sabrina Jones and Jennifer Watchell. All right, we got the Achieve Academy coming down the way now with their Christmas in Wakanda float. This is the city's premier independent school offering unrivaled education opportunities from kids age three to high school. The winners of the Mr. and Miss Achiever pageant are proud to be representing in true Academy Wakanda style. They are Christopher High, Gabe Caesar, Anastasia Key, Karen Curtis and Talia Parker. We are glad to have them here today. We are definitely glad to have them. And I know you all hear all that revving and thundering right here <laughs> happening in the international city. Notorious Ones MC of Warner Robins. That's who you're seeing. Established back in 2005, they love to give back to the community. They recently participated, partnered rather, with the Salvation Army to give away turkeys. They also sponsor a family each holiday season. That's great work that they're doing here in our community, Caitlin. Ooh, and they are revving those engines. That is for sure. You can hardly hear anybody that, that, out That's here. what I'm saying. I'm having trouble hearing my, my self talk. I might have to get some tea and some honey in my future. I, I, I know Wanya and I are loud people. When you can hear those motorcycles over Wanya and I. It's loud. It's loud. Oh, but we love seeing all these bike groups and car groups and all these people who just come together because they want to give back exactly. to the city and to their and, community. And it's great because during this uh, holiday season, we can't remember what it's all about. It's all about helping out one another, giving away those free turkeys and those Christmas gifts because for a lot of people, the holiday season, unfortunately, it can be a stressful time. So it's great to see them giving back to take that burden off of these parents' shoulders who may be less fortunate. All right, we got a lot more groups coming up the road next. And up next, we'll have North Bethlehem Missionary hear, Church. Still can't hear anything over the motorcycle. I can feel it in my chest. <laughs> North Bethlehem Missionary Church. The first truck you'll see Pastor David, Dr. Henry Childs, retired U.S. Air Force, and First Lady Vivian Childs, youth minister and author and businesswoman. Following them in the second church, you'll see in the second truck, I'm sorry, church members. 
in their trailer labeled Jesus is the reason for the season. Thanks to Varis Taylor for the truck. Oh, yes, right. that's an absolutely beautiful truck there. And they Come. got a nice trailer. I mean, they they chilling on there by the fireplace. <laughs> uh, they're looking like they're having a good time, yes. too. <laughs> we love to see it. Coming up behind them, we have the little tax co of Warner Robins. They are open and ready for business. Tax season will be here before we know it, which is mm -hmm. kind of scary to think about. <laughs> uh, but they are on Constitution Drive in Warner Robins, so you can get them a free estimate there. Merry Christmas to them. Very Merry Christmas to them. And then coming up is the Robbins Air Force Base Honor Guard. These men and women are responsible for rendering the final honors for active duty airmen, retirees, and veterans. As ambassadors in blue, they also perform during events, posting the nation's colors for the air base and local communities. They perform with pride, honor, and dignity, exemplifying the Air Force core values of integrity first, service before self and excellence in all that we do and i do feel that we would be remiss if we did not take a moment just to pause and honor all of our men and women in uniform not only here in the international city but all across our country who are working hard to make sure that we have the freedoms that we have today yes Absolutely. and for even all the civilians at robbins the yes. work that they do goes to help the missions all across our globe so we are very grateful to have them here yes and next up you'll see washington home improvements llc they provide expert plumbing services for new construction. Locally owned and operated by Alvin Washington Jr., Washington Home Improvements has maintained a five-star rating with companies and residents since 2015. Washington Home Improvements believes in building trust one customer at a time. They say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody watching. Love it. Hey, look at these little kiddos. This is Primary Kids Academy, a child care program. They offer fun and rewarding experience for all kinds of families, and they say they bring out the fun in everybody. <laughs> They've got the little Grinch up there sitting on the truck. How cute is that? Yes, I absolutely love it. Little Grinch up there is hanging out, and then <laughs> I want to definitely go ahead and get some Flint Energy so we can hear the band later on. They're celebrating their 85th year serving electricity to more than 70,000 homes, businesses, and schools throughout 17 counties in the middle Georgia area. This antique truck is a replica of how Flint's trucks looked back in 1937 when the company began building and maintaining electric lines to members in beautiful Taylor County. And then oh, up next, it. I'm sure you can hear them, the House and County High School Silver Brigade. The Brigade, I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. They're playing Sounds of the Season. This program serves over 300 students daily and includes four concert ensembles, a jazz ensemble, a percussion ensemble, and a dedicated color guard. Hoco bands have consistently received superior ratings at events throughout the Southeast. The Wind Symphony will be performing at the Georgia Music Educators Association in-service conference in January of 2023. We're just going to let you listen to them for a second. Look how good they are. Oh. And then I'm not sure if we can put the camera on my friend over here because he is getting down. <laughs> I see you. I see you. I want whatever he had for breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Whatever coffee he had, that's hey, what I want. Hey, hey. I don't know who's listening right now, but this needs to be on This Is Home. Oh, yeah. I better see this on This Is Home Friday. <laughs> much work goes into these bands and it's yes. so great to see them out here today and you can tell they work hard because they just sound so good and i gotta say i gotta give a go bears to my alma mater out there <laughs> <laughs> i'm not gonna say what class i graduated oh, that's from right. <laughs> well, as they are moving down the street let's take a look at this next group we have the dynamic barbies coming down the way dancing and showing off their skills. They are a competition traveling majorette dance team. The Dynamic Barbies will be traveling to different states and cities representing the great city of Warner Robins. They're still accepting dancers between the ages of six to 18. So if you're interested, give them a call. They don't want me on their team. I can promise you that I am not a good <laughs> dancer, but they look at them go. The Dynamic Barbies. Yep, they're definitely going ahead and getting down and they have on their uniforms and it's always nice when you have everybody in uniform and you just have like, you know, that unison. This looks so well when everything is coming together for the final product. Oh, and that is, things like this make you realize how much talent there is in Central Georgia. You've seen all these dance groups, yes. all these musician groups. I mean, so much talent coming from good old Warner Robins. So we definitely love to see that. 
Alrighty then, so right behind them here, we do have the color guard who is going to be uh, following in front of some cheerleaders right now. So that's what you're seeing right here is the color guard. Now we are grateful for them. They're always out at all different kinds of events for the base, uh, anything related to the military. They are out there and making sure that you know, the respect is given for all of those events and ceremonies. So we're grateful for the work that they put in Definitely. for everything. Very, very, very grateful. And I mean, I feel like sometimes, you know, a numerous amount of events that they may be doing from sun up to sundown, mm -hmm. where, you know, the colors need to be posted. And, uh, you know, we recite the Pledge of Allegiance. So always forever grateful for everything that they're doing. Mm -hmm. All right. And then coming up next, I believe we have number 70. And I'm going to give this to my friend Mandy so I don't take her spot. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the Warner Robins Raiderettes cheer competition team. They will be cheering and dancing their way down Watson Boulevard. For more information, follow Angela Brooks on Facebook. That is an adorable group there. They see the and little one coming out. up in the oh, back. Look at the baby in the back. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. Oh. Okay, precious. look at her go. I love this. Okay, up next, coming up right behind, we got I Hope Inc., the intentionalistic opportunities to promote empowerment, showing off their spirit. They're a peer run, peer led, peer driven recovery community organization group and addiction recovery support center, living their recovery proud and out loud for all to see the gift of recovery. Uh, and they have all these cars that are following in behind them. And I honestly do believe, based on that banner that I'm seeing right there, Caitlin, on that Toyota minivan, all these cars are a part of, of I Hope Inc. Wow. So it's great to see them coming out here in numbers. I know. And like they said, that they are living their recovery proud and out loud, which is so great and such a great message for people who may need a little extra help or who may be struggling to see how many people are out here and want to help in that recovery process and let them know it's okay and to ask for help. And Caitlin, you may see I Hope parades all around Warner Robins because they really do celebrate wow. their uh, recovery efforts. And, and you'll see multiple vehicles following an I Hope van on any given day of the week celebrating. Yeah, and, and you know, that's very important because anybody who may be battling any type of substance abuse or going through a hard time in their life, you know, sometimes, you know, we really, they learn to come down on people, but it's important to celebrate those moments where they have been clean, where they have been sober and continue to give them their flowers for a lack of better words for continuing down that recovery journey. Absolutely. We are proud of what they do and grateful to have them here helping so many people out in the international city. Definitely, we love to see them. And then coming up next right after them now, just want to make sure I am correct. This is going to be our Airborne Athletics. If my eyes serve me correctly, <laughs> y'all. I know I got glasses on, but they just help a little bit. Now, <laughs> up next is Airborne Athletics. And oh, what fun they have. Their float is filled with laughter and Christmas joy coming from some of their competitive gymnasts and cheerleaders. They spend their week jumping, flipping, and twisting excited for the holiday season they want to wish you a very merry christmas and a happy new year central georgia that is a big group of coming it, down the street there. It, it is they're representing yeah. i love it hey can we can you give me a a, a, a hunk oh no he's oh, not he's, he's not, not paying he, attention he's to paying me. attention to the yeah, road that, we give him and that. that's right that's important <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna let him slide on this one i'm gonna let him slide this, on this time one. this time <laughs> and then up next we have our friend Tashawn mills so Sean is a six-year-old kidpreneur. He is an author, entertainer, and a cheerful volunteer in the community. To Sean's attitude is that of a leader, and for he has the mind of a boss and a heart of being a servant. He Love is that. the perfection personification of greatness. Yes. Oh, proud of him. Already doing big things. Exactly. Oof, we got to catch up, Caitlin. I know, right? He's just <laughs> six years old. He's already outpacing so many people. All right, we got another one of these fun groups coming up. Just take a look at these Jeeps coming down the road. This is the Urban Jeep Squad Club, the first and largest all melanin Jeep club in the middle Georgia area. They are a nonprofit group. They show their love for their community by giving back to families in need, as well as the fur babies. You can't forget about them. They have a love for the Jeep life, and they participate in Jeep events around the country, bringing some trophies home as well. You can follow them on Instagram and Facebook under the Urban Jeep Squad. I just love seeing how they decorate all of these Jeeps, and they're so different, every single one of them. 
Yeah, we, we love to see it. And as you were just talking about, Caitlin, it's just so much work that they do. I think people see them and they're just like, okay, there's folks who have their Jeeps and they're in the yeah. club together. But there's so much more that they're doing than just driving their Jeeps around. And that's what I love to see. And you'll see them. I've made this group and all the Jeep clubs and motorcycle clubs, you'll see them kind of grouped up in different parking lots mm -hmm. around the city. And, you know, they're always up to something good when you see them all together. Oh, there we go. We are in the Christmas spirit now. The the quote-unquote Christmas Woo! queen, Mariah Carey. She's going. All right, y'all. We, we got to get my friend on here. The Aisha High Shriners on their Scat Cat cars. Look at them. Just <laughs> brand new whip. Got no keys. He is just going and going. I want we his job. We love to see it. I know, right? Flying the Georgia flag and also the American flag. He's having a good time, y'all. How fun. <laughs> And behind him, we have You Create Make and Bikes teams. Santa's elves are using bikes to share the Christmas spirit with the kids of House and County and beyond. There is nothing more special than kids on bikes, and You Create Macon has you covered. UCM will be opening a House and County clubhouse soon to get more kids on bikes. To take, today, some of these youth cyclists are sharing smiles and bike safety tips during this festive holiday season. You can be a part of the magic and help us get more kids on bikes. Happy holidays from your youth cycling partner. All right, coming up behind them, we have Cub Scout Pack 122 in Bonaire. Pack 1 has 80 scouts participating wow. in their group. Children in kindergarten all the way up to the fifth grade. They're learning leadership and character development through outdoor and STEM-based activities. What a fun group they have there. They learn so much in some of those Cub Scout programs, too. They do, truly a, another organization that's teaching them lifelong lessons. And coming up right after them, we have the Classy Cats Westside Elementary. Now, the Westside Elementary School Classy Cats dance team is up next, as you see. They are a dynamic group of young ladies in third through fifth grade that excel not only in dance, but also in academics. They care for others, always respectful, take responsibility, and stay safe. They are the Classy Cats. Oh, I love it. Got the pom-poms. They are bringing some spirit today. That is for sure. All right, coming up behind him, we got the paint boss over here. Veteran owned and operated, serving Central Georgia from Perry to Forsyth. And they'll even give you 15% off your residential and commercial interior and exterior painting needs. Love to see them out here. They got the van all decorated and ready to go. Yes, ready to go. And I heard that Santa is not too far away, uh -oh. Central Georgia. And up next, we have the Warner Robins Animal Control. They provide housing and humane care for impounded animals from Warner Robins, Centerville, and Housing County. They also find homes for adoptable animals and educate the public on responsible pet ownership. All adoptions are only $20 and include a microchip. They currently have more than 20 dogs and 15 cats that need a forever home. Aww. Aww. Hey, they would look pretty cute under a Christmas tree, I'm just saying. Yes. Little and bows. And it's very important for us to remember as we enter this holiday season, some people are going to be giving animals, cats, and dogs as a present right. And it's important to remember that that is a commitment that yes. you need to make for an extended period of time. And so only gift that if you are going to take care of that animal in the best way possible. It, it is a commitment, but I tell you, when you take care of those animals and you love on them, they will give you so much love back that it makes it so much more exactly. worth it. Exactly. And my co-anchor, Caitlin Mandy, she she has a, a dog for me, so I don't have to get one. So I can go <laughs> and visit Coco whenever I please. I just have to make sure I'm humble to Coco because she doesn't like anybody just stepping in on her territory. Right. I hear Coco loves treats, especially when you come and bring them to her. Exactly. Yes. That'll get her to calm down. <laughs> right. <laughs> Coco rules that. the roost, that is for sure. That it's her world. Sure. We're living in it. She is the queen. But I am loving these cute little pups that they have brought here today. They just got their tail wagging. I mean, just look how happy they are to be around so many people. They would make some cute, cute additions to somebody's family. That's for sure. Do my eyes deceive me, or do we have the big man himself here in Central Georgia this morning? He is here. This is absolutely amazing. This organization, this is Pop Pop Santa. It's a retired Air Force vet of over 20 years. So he wants to be a Santa for all children. And we're just looking here. This is a black Santa to appear in the House and County Galleria Mall back in December of 2020. And it's just amazing to see Santa Claus here. It's that 
shows you that we are officially in the season right now of Christmas. Santa is already making his rounds. That's right. So if you are watching this, whether you are here at the parade or you are watching it on TV or on the live stream, just know Santa is watching. He is here in Central Georgia. So you better behave. You got probably got that naughty and nice list, list with him out there. Exactly. In the, uh, in he the has that. He has that list absolutely ready to go. And you know, it's it's so great. Uh, you know, to see Santa Claus this year and just see him on the back of that fire truck just waving to everybody and I'm just taking a look and the kids are so excited and even the fireman he, he's back there yeah. he's smiling too <laughs> I hope you've been good for Santa I, I hope know. you've been good for him he's turning in his ear he's like all right Santa this is what I want <laughs> make sure I'm on the good list yes Ex exactly because Santa he's making a list and he is definitely checking it twice so I mean you all they always say that time flies when you're having a good time, and this time has truly mm -hmm. flown on by. It's such a great feeling to say that we have been a part of the 64th annual Warner Robins Christmas Parade. You know, we're still somewhat dealing with COVID, but this is the first time the parade has really been fully back to normal as we continue to get through the COVID-19 pandemic. And you can see people were so excited and so ready to be involved and to be here and to wave on so many great groups and to show off their groups that we have here in Central Georgia. Yes, absolutely. And as we conclude this great parade, we would like to, spay, to say a special thanks to several people. Um, that would be all the employees of the City of Warner Robins yes. from the tax office, the fire department, utility department, parks and rec, the CVB, community and economic development, the clerk's office, public works, stormwater, general administration, and to the executive staff from the mayor's office. Thank you to each of you, to all the participants that came out to kick off their holiday season with us today. Thank you. Want to also give a huge shout out to our media partners, 13 WMAZ, Wanye and Caitlin. Thank you so much thank for your you. partnerships and for helping the city share the Wanna Robbins tradition. Thank you. We greatly appreciate you. Yes, thank you all so yes. much for having us. We are grateful to be here. We are grateful to partner with the city and to be able to do this live stream for people who are watching at home and who are watching this later. You know, it's just a great way to ring in the holiday spirit here in Warner Robins and great to see so many people coming together. Yeah, but it's something we haven't seen in a long time. Definitely. It is a great time. So we just want to thank you so much for spending your morning with us. Remember, you can watch this on 13 WMAZ.com. You can also stream this on the brand new 13 WMAZ Plus app on Roku and Amazon Fire TV and we're going to be showing this on 13. We're going to have commercials running on it so you can go ahead and check that out. So Central Georgia, thank you so much for joining us. We hope that you have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Take care. Goodbye everybody.